Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this test centre video we will be discussing the newly released Cosmic Artifacts. Now what this is, is that boss artifacts in the game when you're playing on Cosmic Difficulty, so be that a Cosmic Terminal or a Cosmic Patrol, have a chance of having a Cosmic Effects attached to them. So there's a pool of, I believe, eight different effixes. The effixes don't stack, if they did it would potentially be a bit too powerful. But what we'll do in the next section of this video is we'll list all the fixes. But for this particular first section, what I'm doing is really running over all the information the developers have gave so far. It's split up over various different posts. So I've had a look through the developer tracker and took a note of it all to see if you haven't to hunt it down. So as mentioned, this item effects will be available via Cosmic Patrols and Terminals. Currently the plan is that they're not tradable. What they want it to be is, if you have an artifact with the cosmic effects, they want you to actually have one out in the game and played the cosmic difficulty in order to get that. I have no problems with that at all, I personally like that idea. They are talking about bringing in a, an option to re-roll the effects, because potentially you get a really good boss artifacts, but it has an effect you already have. So what they're talking about doing as in cosmic difficulty, you can actually get cosmic crafting materials that drop and they will allow you to re-roll the cosmic effects. So that's a nice idea as well. Now, when you run cosmic terminals, you actually have the bounty missions, which will be to clear so much of the trash. And what they've said is the chest at the end will have an increased chance to actually drop the boss artifact. So again, I really like that a lot. We with the combat being slowed down, people were asking, why should I have to beat mobs? Where's the incentive to do it? We've now got an incentive, so that's really good. Another positive change there. What they've also mentioned is in regular difficulty modes, the drop rate for the boss artifacts will go up. So what they want you to do, play the regular modes, get the boss artifacts. They will then help you do better in the next tier up, which is currently Cosmic. And then in Cosmic, you'll get the Cosmic Effixes, which in time, who knows, maybe even might help you to get to a mega difficulty. Maybe we'll get a mega artifacts. I'm just speculating. I'm not sure, but we could. Now, before we run on to showcasing all the artifacts and what the different effixes you can get are, I'll quickly mention. We have new boss artifacts for Electro, Grim Reaper, The Hood, Loki, Living Laser, Rhino, Shocker, Venom, and then finally Doc Ock. And all your existing boss artifacts will have the chance to roll a cosmic effects as well. So really quite interesting. I personally I think this is a really good change and I'm looking forward to playing harder difficulty and getting gear that is only available in that particular difficulty and you can't just trade for it or you can't just craft for it. So if you want the gear you need to go out and do the content. I know it can be it's a bit contentious, some people aren't a fan of that, but personally for me, I, I do like that. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on that are, but let's actually look at the tool tips now for these boss artifacts and the different affixes that are available. So before we look at the actual artifacts, we'll have a quick look at the cosmic affixes available. The first one we have is 15% primary resource cost reduction. That's really good and could help some heroes potentially move from having to use a basic to a spender. It would also be ideal on Vision to bring his signature cooldown down. We then have 2000 defense rating, 2000 dodge, 2000 deflect, 2500 health, plus one to all attributes. It's very nice and will be especially good on Taskmaster or Rogue if she uses the talent for Taskmaster. And then we have a two second cooldown reduction on medkit, which could work very well with the actual, let's see, attribute where you have, I can't remember what attribute it is, but I know one of them pulls down the cooldown on medkit so you could get that way down. And then we have 150 primary resource, which quite a lot of characters can benefit from. And then we finish up the cosmic affixes with the 10% cooldown reduction to signature powers. So that's really quite nice, especially on the odd hero that has a, a signature that's maybe in the 30, 40 second region. You're pulling a fair bit off that. So let's have a look at the artifacts now. 
So these artifact tooltips are courtesy of Alakadan on the forums. He very kindly went out and farmed them all and put them up on the test centre and also gave me permission to use them in the video. So thank you very much for that, saving me a bit of time there. The first one we look at is the hood artifact, which is enhanced energy infused pistols. So this has got energy, physical damage rating, brutal strike rating, and also a chance on hit to become stealthed as well. So that's pretty interesting. And then we have the shocker artifact, which is the enhanced fibro smashers. So this provides energy damage rating, durability, brutal damage rating and also power radius up to 10% which is quite a not bad amount actually for any heroes that use an area build. So let's look at the next two now. So we now have a look at the Electro and Venom artifacts. The Electro artifact is Enhanced Reserve Electrical Generator, provides energy, spirit, spirit cost reduction, defence rating and it has two procs there as well. It's when you critically hit you gain free spirit and hit for 8 seconds stacks up to three times and when it reaches full stacks you gain critical damage rating and also when you drop below 25% max spirit you gain 30 spirit recovery for 16 seconds that looks perfect for vision for me but I'm sure there's other characters it could work well for I like the fact it's doing something different and could support various builds for Venom this particular one is missing one of fix at the moment and it will be added Currently it's providing health on hit, durability, strength and also a reduction in the total energy defence rating or a reduction in the damage you take from it I should say and it also has the symbiote infestation visual on it as well so that's an interesting artefact there. And now we have the Loki and Grim Reaper artefacts. So the Loki one is the Enhanced Broken Crown. This provides flat damage rating, intelligence, critical damage rating and also when you drop below 30% health you become invisible and summon a horde of Loki illusions for 3 seconds. That could work really nice along with the God of Mischief. You could really have a lot of Loki kind of summons all over the screen. It would look very good thematically on a Loki build. And then we have the brutal damage rating to finish off there. The next artifact is Grim Reaper and this is Enhanced Hood of the Reaper. So this provides fighting, mental damage rating, summoned ally damage and also you gain 100 health when you defeat an enemy. That potentially I think might be missing an effect there, I'm not 100% sure but it looks a little bit light on what it offers. So one more artifact to look at now. So this final artifact is the Enhanced Indestructible Horn and this provides brutal strike rating, a quite nice amount of spirit, 200 and while you're moving you gain free strength for 3 seconds and while you're standing still you gain free durability for 3 seconds, so that's really quite different there. Now at the start of the video we did mention two other villains that had artifacts, Living Laser and Doc Ock. Currently the artifacts aren't dropping on them so we don't have tooltips available but I'll even add details in the description of this video when they do become available. So I hope this video was insightful. Uh, I'm personally really quite excited by another tier of gear to farm so something to look forward to. Let me know in the comments below what you all think of these particular artifacts and also the kind of plan they have where if you want to get certain tiers of gear you can only really get it from that particular difficulty. I know that might be a divisive choice, but let me know in the comments below what you think of it, and I'll see you all again soon.